podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Okay. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joe from StartupRate.io, your startup podcast and YouTube blog for startups from Germany in English only. Today I'm here again at the Innovation Center and I do have another startup from the Accelerator program. Hi. Who are you? Hi. My name is uh, Klaus Schepers and I'm a chemist by background and I am a founder and CEO of Munditech. And uh, Munditech is what? Munditech is a startup company which has been founded at the end of 2015. And uh, we believe that it is our responsibility to optimize hygiene to the best of our ability. For the time being, more than 250,000 uh, people in Europe and in the US die from hospital acquired infections. And this is something which we would like to change. You, you are talking then about the multi-resistant um, bacteria that is out there, stuff like this? Yes, right. So we are talking about bacteria in general. So uh, our uh, objective uh, is then to uh, fight against uh, bacteria in an extremely environmentally friendly way without using biocides. And when we talked before, you said you're one of the very few companies who does actually this without biocides, right? Yes, right. Uh, how, how do you do it? Can, can you explain our viewers a little bit yeah. how it works? I, I know you have a PhD in chemistry, so you can go pretty much into details, but <laughs> just dumb it down a little bit for us. Okay, Klaus, and can you explain for us a little bit easy how this actually works, what you're doing there with the surface? Yeah. So during the past uh, two years, uh, we have developed uh, an antimicrobial coating. This uh, antimicrobial coating, it's based on a polymer with certain side chains. And the side chains, uh, they uh, sting through the cell membrane of microorganisms so that the, the integrity of the cell membrane is lost and the bacteria die. So when i dumb it down for my style so basically it's a surface it's smooth when you touch it but actually if you are like a bacteria and you try to settle on it it's like thousands of needles in there and they go through the membrane the skin of the bacteria and then the bacteria dies yeah exactly so that's exactly what happens uh, so like uh, needles uh, so it penetrates the cell membrane and uh, the uh, bacteria and also other microorganisms, they die. So we tested this on gram-positive bacteria, gram-negative bacteria, and even at uh, some mold species uh, like Aspergillus brasiliensis. I have no clue what you said about the bacteria, <laughs> but I assume they're the usually troublesome. Yeah, exactly. That's right. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yep. Okay, and um, we've been talking before about what it actually means, where you can apply it. And there's like a multitude of possible applications out there. We talked like uh, all rooms related to hospitals, surgery, operations, um, intensive care units, but also like at home, the kitchen surface. Right, exactly. And there have been like a zillion other possible applications you talk yes. about, right? Yes, right. So uh, we intend to focus on three uh, major markets. So it's healthcare, uh, mm -hmm. for example, hospital applications. Uh, then uh, we want to focus on home care applications, for example, uh, tiles, sanitary equipment, uh, bathroom equipment, oh, kitchen. You, you can even make um, it in the bathroom. Yes, right. Oh, that, exactly. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And in addition, uh, we would like to focus on the food supply chain. So starting from food production, uh, food transport, food storage, uh, then uh, also food packaging. Mm -hmm. uh, here uh, we have some hints uh, that a shelf life of food uh, can be uh, extended uh, so that uh, due, during the storage, uh, we will really even in the supermarket, uh, you have longer shelf life than and uh, the fourth market, so it's uh, the water market, uh, where uh, you could use this technology for water storage in order to prevent biofouling. 
that is pretty cool. And um, how far in the development process are you? Yeah. So uh, we have already uh, carried out then um, a first proof of principle. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there we can demonstrate that it works. Then for the time being, uh, we are uh, working on a specific formulation in order to tailor uh, the polymer so that it will uh, stick then to different kinds of surfaces like uh, plastics, mm -hmm. uh, for example, ceramic materials, mm -hmm. uh, wood, or matter then. And mm -hmm. here uh, one would need to, to develop then a specific formulations. In some applications, it needs to be, for example, scratch resistant. Uh, then in other applications, not. Mm -hmm. And uh, like scratch the resistant, the work surface you have in the kitchen, and yes. you don't want every time a cutting knife hits it, right. it gets scratched. Right, exactly. Yeah. Because I could yeah. assume if the surface is scratched, then there is a place where bacteria can get a hold on, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, That's okay. right. That's right. So from for the time being, then uh, so we have the uh, technology platform, and uh, during the next step, we really focus then on formulation development uh, for specific applications. And that's what you're doing here in the accelerator program. Yes, exactly. Okay, and. Can you tell us a little bit how your experience has been so far? Yeah, so uh, we joined the accelerator program approximately eight weeks ago. And uh, so the experience with, uh, w which we made so far, so it's really great uh, because you have the opportunity then to uh, work with uh, other scientists together on specific questions. Then um, uh, you can do a joint development, you can do test trials together. And uh, so we also get some input with respect to the formulation development. So this is something which helps us very much uh, to accelerate on to get the technology uh, to, to bring it um, faster to the market. Then. Mm -hmm. And how fast are we talking? Do you have like a um, guesstimate when you would be ready like for the market? Yeah, for the time being, we are also uh, doing test trials and pilot trials together with uh, external customers mm -hmm. in specific market segments. Uh, this is ongoing and we expect that uh, we will be able then to sell first formulations for specific applications at the beginning of next year. Well, only thing for me left is to say best of yeah. luck with that. Okay. Very kind. So thank, thank you very much for the interview. You're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.